Greetings sports fans, ASMR Sports here. Just a quick one today for y'all. Um, our friend, I actually was uh, not sure what my video was going to be today. Didn't have anything super um, ready to roll, but uh, our friend Glenn from the channel uh, ordered up a six-pack lot, also known as a quarter box of 2022 Tops Baseball, and I'm always interested in opening more of this stuff. At least right now, I'm sure I'll get <laughs> tired of it eventually, but haven't opened much of it, and everything I have opened, I've opened on this channel. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me, uh, so looking forward to ripping into these guys for Glenn, and, uh, then shipping them off to him, so let's see if we can keep the hits coming, um, we've gotten both of the autographs from the last, or both of the hits, I should say, because there's definitely no guarantee of autographs in this stuff, uh, when you get a box. I see. 
Okay, Diamond Greats, it says, is the name of the uh, subset here. This looks pretty nice, too. Nicely centered. These die cuts are tough to grade because there's so many edges and corners, but they look clean to me, and the centering looks really nice on this. So this might be something to grade. If you could grade a numbered um, trout, you're in business. All right.
so like you kind of need to monitor to see like what sound level it's at. I can play music without monitoring it and just look at like the, the sound levels and hope it's not too loud for my audience compared to the, you know, speaking voice. But I prefer to be able to hear exactly what you guys are hearing and I had to upgrade the software. Anyways, I, played, I paid for the upgrade of the software and I tried the monitoring and it's total trash. It doesn't like not work at all. So back to square one on that, but I don't know. I might just try some some music on some streaming. I also had to find out last pack for our friend, uh, friend Glenn. Um, I also had to uh, find like some music that was uh, okay to stream, like you know that I could uh, have the rights to do the streaming of, you know, because you can't just take music and play it on a YouTube stream. You got to make sure it's like actually, you know, the person who owns it allows you to do that, that there's a license to do that, so I've been finding music there where you can do that if you give, like, credit to the, um, to the, uh, creator of it. Oh, nice. I think that's the first Vlad I've pulled out of this stuff. Maybe I pulled one in my hobby box. Christian Walker. So anyways, yeah, I'm thinking about kind of you know, doing interesting things on the live stream. Uh, all right, well, there you have it. No uh, hits after the trout number card, but I think that's a pretty nice hit. Um, that might very well pay for the quarter box here. Um, I, okay, so I wanted to do a little throw in here, and I, I recently realized that I have a bunch of these packs of 2021 opening day. Um, that I thought were listed for sale on my site, but they are not. And so I went ahead and created a listing and I'll link that up in the description. These are pretty cheap. I can't remember how much I ended up listing these for, but it was like pretty cheap. It was like a buck 50 or something to pack. Um, so if you're looking for a cheap rip, and then I was like looking at the rookies in here and there's actually a ton of um, really good rookies in here. Like um, Dylan Carlson is a rookie in here. Um, um, like, a lot of guys that haven't really taken off yet, but, like, might very well do so. Like, uh, Joe Adele, Kristen Pache, um, oh man, just a ton. Like, uh, Alec uh, Baum for the Phillies. Actually, it was pretty good last year. Um, so a ton of, ton of, like, rookies in this product. And there are parallels in here that you can get. I think there's like one that's like a very common parallel. It's like one in a pack, but there's other more parallels. So, you know, it's an interesting bargain rip. Um, the singles are certainly not worth what like the non-opening day singles are, but the packs are way cheaper than, you know, like retail um, flagship and a uh, insert there. So, yeah, if you're uh, want a cheap rip, maybe get a few of these guys. And uh, those are now Glenn's cards. Um, let me see what else I got here to kind of throw in the pile, because I like to, I like to reward people who let us open things. Uh, I don't know what the... Let's see, Glenn is in Missouri. Oh, is he a, um, a Royals fan, I wonder? I don't know if I have any Royals, but... Actually, um, um, oh, it's funny. It's funny, you guys. Um, oh, there's a Aureo Solaire, um, Kansas City, a little patch card. So that's going off to our friend Glenn. Um, it's funny. Uh, Glenn's going to end up being a um, Cardinals fan. <laughs> but, uh, just to add a little length to this video, you know, I have this box next to me um, of all my uh, star cards organized by um, by team. And actually, this looks like I have another box because it only goes to the Dodgers when you hit the NL. But I've been going through this on videos, and I just finished the Red Sox. I'm going to go back here. I just finished the Red Sox. Um, and then the next thing is the Royals. I just took those out because we're looking for Royals now on the probably fall.
false assumption that uh, Glenn is a Royals fan, but I figure this is a very pretty small stack, so, you know, I heard Whit Merrifield is like a huge fan favorite in Kansas City. Um, and I got a couple cards of him that are not bad. Mondesi. Salvi, uh, gold there. What is up with Salv Salvador Perez hitting like 4,000 home runs last year, you guys? I was hoping that would have stats so I could see like if he's ever done anything like that before. I, I'm sure he's hit like 30 home runs, but I, I don't think he's even gotten anywhere near 50. Hosmer. Number to 99. That's kind of a fun. These I think these Topps rookie history cards are like somewhat collectible. I like the, how these have um they have a like a, a matte back just like the original 87 Topps would have. Um, whereas the cards that come in uh, if I can find the cards that come in these uh, 2022s these have glossy fronts. And, and, and sort of semi-gloss backs. You can see a little light shine out there. So not like uh, pure to the 87, true 87. Tops card vibe. Another selfie product with a commemorative, i.e. fake patch. Bo Jackson, number to 150, George Brett. So there you go, I don't know. Um, we're gonna send you a uh, George Brett because there's a number George Brett. Who doesn't want George Brett, Hall of Famer? Um, put these back, so those are the Royals. The next time I do a video of me going through cards uh, from that box, it'll be Tigers, Twins, and then a White Sox, and then after that's the Yankees, which is really big. Um, spot. So there you go. A couple bonus cards for our, our friend Glenn. You know, if you if you order um, if you order something for me to open on the channel on a video, uh, and you have a favorite like player or team, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. I I can't make any guarantees, but I do generally like to. Uh, throw in something if I can and if I can do something that you'd appreciate. I know like if if it were me, you know, honestly you could give me like a I don't know, like a Geo Urshela card. Um and I'd be pretty happy. Like a patch card or something like that would be sweet. I I, I love anything Yankees, so whatever I can get is good. Alright, well there you go, Glenn. Thanks uh, so much for the order. We will get these shipped on out to you. Hope everybody's doing well. Come on by uh, hotcardboard.com if you're looking to buy some uh, sports cards of your own and we'll get you hooked up. I'm looking to do some live stream streaming later this week and I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, thanks again everybody. Bye now.